guess we can, with a quorum, we can call the meeting to order. And I would say to you and to anyone who's watching now or in the future that this is our first time trying the uh, hybrid with the Zoom with the OWL. So uh, expect that we will not get it right the first time, but we're trying to be inclusive. So um, I did not get to ask him if there's a, I assume there's a speaker on this so that if someone is watching live Zooming, they would be able to say, hey, I'm here. And in the absence of that, um, I will jump into that would be our welcome and call to order, which was item one on the agenda. <clears throat> Two is the clerk's report. And do you want me to read that, Pat, or do you have that? Or... Um, do you think we should read it, read it aloud? Is that the protocol, or? I don't know. I guess not necessary. I can read it if it's... Uh, or is this the minutes from what? what am the, I... the minutes from, from our yeah. last meeting. Right. The clerk's report yeah, the minutes. need to read the whole thing. The minutes from the August 18th, 2020, 7 right. p.m. meeting. Okay. It looked to me like there was a word missing. Um, item three, part B. MD offered to something directly with our eye. So there's a word missing. Speak directly. Thank yes. you. Yeah. Thank you for picking that up for us. Okay. Are we on the next one? It's optional. Oh. Do you want to welcome? Do you want me to? No, I just, I think when the students came back, I just said, well, actually, I, I just never stopped. It's yeah. just such a gray area. Right. And I, and um, one of my co-members on the planning board, Mike Sarsinski and his wife, Adriana, both got it and got it kind of bad mm. with the new Omicron. So I just thought, you know. Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah. It's such a I simple brought. thing to do and the but I think we're uh, spread out enough that if you don't want to mask it, I, I don't have a problem with that. We also don't know who's been breathing in the room all day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just tested positive even though I had it. It's, so I just that if people feel safer with me. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do it. <laughs> I do catch it. I probably won't know because I've been jabbed so many times. And, Alex, one quick question. So if someone's on, uh, if there was someone Zooming <laughs> off site, they could speak and we would hear it through? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, you should be, please double check. A block. Let's see. Yep, okay. Echo Zoom. Yep. Echo Zoom, you guys are good. So. Okay. Cool. Yep. Perfect. Um, and when the meeting's over? I get you just call call or text and I'll be up. Okay. Yep. Oh, and I've got your card. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Good to go. And right. you got your person, your virtual person. So. Okay. Thank you very much, Alex. You're more than welcome. Nice to meet you finally. Absolutely. Um, now, considering that we are um, doing this for the first time hybrid, uh, we should probably speak up. So I might even take my mask off just. So I'm easier to hear. Um, so <clears throat> we were just having a discussion about masks, and I realized I didn't know if the microphone would pick that up. So anyway, um, so the clerk's report is the minutes, and we were just reviewing the minutes. I think I heard one correction of a missing word in 3B. And I, I 
don't recall having any issues with it. So, does anyone else have? Joanne, do you want more time to review the minutes? Or? I read them before I came. Oh, okay. Don't think. Thank you for asking. Mm -hmm. So, uh, can I get a motion to? Do we need a motion to adopt to accept them? So moved. So moved and a second. Okay. All second. right. And so, uh, if there's any other discussion, we can vote to accept them with the one modification. Yeah. I would vote aye. It is unanimous. <clears throat> I will go on to item three, which is old business. 3A is the CDI response to the select board member comments. Okay, so I reached out to Randy Iser to say, Randy, remember when we had this issue, we were concerned about the um, Facebook post by Ms. Junglo and how that reflects as a select board member of this town on our view of people that are in need of financial support so or a home so <clears throat> he had not gone back to us i checked with him he said that he spoke with uh the town administrator Carolyn and that uh, he thought he had gotten back to me, but had not. so anyway, what he said was that she would prefer that we send her a letter. So she had it in writing um, that we were looking for uh, some response, some explanation from the town. So um, that was maybe a week week and a half ago, and I checked in with Mary on that. Pat, sorry, Pat. Um, Mary's on my other committee, sorry. <laughs> um, I checked in with Pat, so we did not exceed a quorum, and we were allowed to converse, and um, Pat drafted up a, a letter, and then I think I had one other thought afterwards, um, just like one more, one or two sentences more. And I don't know if you've had a chance to try to synthesize that and if we should review that now. I thought that ball was in your court. Oh, okay. All right. Then I could probably pull it up in, in an email and I can read it. Okay. Um, Let's see. Oh, how about this? No, that's too far back. I may have misplaced it. Let me see. Um, oh, maybe this is it. Nine six. Okay, here's the letter. Um, dated September 6th. So I have not sent it because I thought that we should all have, you know, since we were so close to our next meeting, I thought I would just, you know, and we've waited, I don't know, when was the original post in June or something? Yeah. Um, and for anyone who's tuning in and doesn't know, this was, this was, uh, this goes back to, I believe it was a planning board meeting where um, I want to say um, 
a, uh, a nonprofit organization came before the planning board presenting their just working thoughts on uh, having an option to buy the Cono Lodge, mm -hmm. which is in front of um, like Whole Foods. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And they were going to convert it into um, affordable housing. And I think they were also, and don't quote me on this, but I think they were going to also include some number of uh, units for homeless. And someone noticed online that a member of our select board who represent the town in most people's eyes said something to the effect of that will bring more crime and crap to our to our town and so we found that to be we were not alone in finding that to be uh, offensive if we understand what she's trying to say so we wanted to approach her to get a clarification see if she wanted to clarify what she had said because as we interpreted it um, we found that it was offensive and uh, not welcoming or open-minded uh, and whatever I don't need to go on and on so um, that's how we got to asking Randy as our select board liaison to pursue it and then there was a delay in that communication before we found out that the town administrator would like us to phrase our request not through word of mouth but through a letter so this is our first draft <clears throat> Um, Dear Carolyn, on behalf of the Committee on Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, I am writing to express concern about Select Board Member Joyce Chunglo's Facebook post in May of 2022, characterizing increased affordable housing as bringing more, quote, crime crap, end quote, to Hadley. I have attached a screenshot of that post. As the committee charged to foster awareness of and strategies for addressing issues of anti-racism, diversity, equity, and inclusion within the town of Hadley, we believe we have a responsibility to address this public comment. At our June 6th meeting of this year, the CDEI members discussed Joyce's statement as being offensive and disparaging in that it assumes a person of lower economic status brings crime to a community. At that meeting, we concluded that given the public comment lacks context, it would be beneficial for the CDEI to ask the select board member for clarification. In addition, we are interested in discussing DEI training for town officials as well as any policies or guidelines for town officials on making public comments on matters related to town business. Select board liaison to the CDEI, comma, Randy Iser, offered to bring this request to you in our, you know, in your role as town administrator and subsequently asked that the CDEI make this request to you in writing. At Randy's recommendation, I am formally asking for your assistance with our concerns and questions. This item has been on the CDEI agenda since June, and the members are anxious to move forward with a resolution. As you may know, Dylan Corey, a reporter for The Reminder, who saw the item on our August 18th agenda and subsequently read our minutes, as, as you may know, Dylan, okay, so that's the whole sentence. Sorry, I phrased it as though there was going to be more. 
Um, should Dylan reach out to us again, we would certainly like to report that the issue has been addressed. We look forward to a response from you and or Ms. Chunglo. The next CDI meeting is scheduled for tonight, not in Sunday before, so it will be October at 7 p.m. in the Senior Center. We will, we will welcome you to attend this meeting if your schedule permits. Thank you in advance for your support and counsel. Sincerely, Mark Dunn, Chair of the CDEI. So obviously we changed the date. If there's anything else we'd like to, if you want to change anything, say more, say less. Good. I have, I have the minutes out from where yeah, you quoted. The, these are the minutes from the yeah, Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but you caught all the uh, key points. Okay. I think it's fine. Yeah, I don't think this is the, you know, what we're asking for is just before we say this is what we thought we heard, we want to give her the chance to mm -hmm. uh, explain. So, yeah. um, and then we also pose the questions to Carolyn <coughs> in somewhat pa parallel, you know, in, in response to this and in other issues going forward, is there a town policy um is there training um you know these are all things that seem reasonable to ask right so um we're all in agreement with that i will um just make a tweak and i will send that off or i'll just i'll just take it to, to carolyn tomorrow okay i don't know what her hours are but i'll check tonight so and i'll change the next meeting okay thank you again for drafting sure. that. thank you both so that is item 3a <clears throat> i'm a little i have mixed emotions about that you know that's kind of why we're here but i mm -hmm. kind of didn't want to get something meaty like that in our plate, you know, I kind of hope we wouldn't have to. Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, that's why we all joined. So yeah. we will delve into that. Um, item 3B, discussion of individual member wish lists of desired accomplishments. So I think we started that last month. Right. And they're listed since I captured them in the minutes too, so I don't know, under new business. Okay. <clears throat> we have actively recruit others to join us. That, was, uh, that would be something we would like. Um, well, we're not going to go into how to how to do things like that. Uh, I was going to say town, town meeting, meeting is an opportunity, but let's. Uh, I think right now we're just trying to formulate the list. Uh, offer more introductory welcoming events. Anyone against that? What, what are we What are we doing right now? Are you just reading? The list? I'm just reading through What's the that? wish lists that we came up with to date. And then you know, feel free to change, modify, add. You know, from the minutes. I'm reading from. But, no, I understand. Yeah. We've read the minutes and approved them. So what I'm, right. what I'm, I want to understand so, is. So what, now what I'm back to. Discussion I'm on happened. old business, and I'm just. Yeah. And. Right. It was. Wish lists. Do we okay. want to add them? To okay, them? that's what I want. To I add. was just reviewing. Right. Are we adding? Yeah. Are we prioritizing? Are we, what, what, what the? What do we want to do? Yeah, okay, so, yeah. that's what I was trying to clear. Yeah. Good, good, good. <laughs> I don't currently have anything to add. Right. No. So. Um, okay. 
Okay, so the next thing coming up is the Indigenous Peoples thing, which is our next item on new business. Um, the Hathorns World Fair is coming up next week. Did anybody make it to the Senior Center thing with Marla Miller? Yes, we did. Oh, good. Yeah. Right. We did. We sat cool. next to each other. Cool. It was on like a Thursday at yeah, one o'clock or something, and it was a it was about the um, African Americans in Hadley. In Hadley. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I was not able to get away from work, but I yeah. did hear it was good. I stole away from work. Yeah. <laughs> you checked in with, with the boss. <laughs> you are the boss. Um, anybody want to report any? major takeaways or any surprises or I had read her book mm. so it was a, a nice overview of that mm. and there are a, a decent amount of questions and answers mm. uh, I think I heard there were maybe 50 a lot of people I thought like that yeah I thought 40 yeah. that yeah. yeah. was pretty full yeah, yeah. Mm. great thought provoking I agree Yeah, I don't know what key points to. <laughs> yeah, okay. But it was it was very good. And in, in, in fact, if, if you want to talk about Indigenous Peoples Day, I did come up with some probably way more than you need to think about ideas. Like I said, I would. And um, I, I was actually thinking of the Marlon Miller talk and how good it was. Yeah. And I, I even asked Haley if if she thought. Marla talks about indigenous people because she did include yeah. enslaved native, at least yes. one enslaved native person in her talk. So um, her book talks a, a great right? bit. Oh. oh yeah, great lot more a lot more about that. Oh okay. You know that the native people had had perfected the the, the basket making and the broom. I mean, the Tadley had this huge broom industry, and those yeah. were yeah. things that the indigenous peoples had were already making. So she had a whole chapter on, okay. on, on that in particular, but so she yeah, she knows things. Yeah. So just because I just to clarify, because I wasn't there, when we say native, we're talking about indigenous, which we used to call the American Indian. Mm -hmm. So okay. People who yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Right. So I I put together a handout. Lots of information, way more than you need. I really got into it though, so I'll pass up a, right. a handout. Yeah. And um, <laughs> wow. I, I did really try to really follow okay. the assignment, which was to I think what I agreed to do is to propose a plan for celebrating Columbus Day and Jewish People Day. So that's what you have before you, and I'll just do a brief overview. I titled it Ideas for Honoring Indigenous Peoples Day 2022. Um, and these ideas include show a film or a podcast in the library or the senior center. And then I have some information that we can talk about. Number two, host a speaker. So just as we were talking, maybe, you know, invite Marla Miller or another speaker to come. Um, I also added a few ideas. Um, number three um i'm losing number three oh offer book group and oh. and number four any other ideas so a uh, book group a podcast or a film or speaker those were the three categories and then i i included some links under film podcast speakers um you know, etc. So if you would like, we could just go little by little. I also attached a summary of what I understand was offered last year by our committee, Hopkins and the library. We offered one event together. And then also the amazing Hadley Learns group um, offered three months right of reading and discussion and i included mm -hmm. i just pulled this from the website and i know yep. that that some of you are participants in that so i think there's some rich rich information there so mm -hmm. um just to start you know 
the first idea show a film or a podcast. Mm -hmm. And um, I did look um, on a number of different websites and I found a number of different topics uh, about Indigenous people. I was looking for something that was fairly short. Mm -hmm. And um, I watched this one hour and 14 minute documentary called Gather, titled me Gather. Too. Me too. Me too. Yeah. yeah. So we, we saw it. Mm -hmm. And I, I thought it was good. Mm -hmm. Um, so I, I yeah. and it's it would be free, right, to mm -hmm. us because it, we can view it through the library, um, right, membership. Yeah, I'm so glad yeah. that it was on campus. Yeah, and I, that's the first out. thing I looked yeah. to see. Yeah. It was great. So yeah. it's yeah. um, I mean, and then I I summarize what gather is about. Um, it it really is about um, sovereignty, food sovereignty, food insecurity. Mm -hmm. um, I, I thought it was really interesting. Yeah. I was actually seeking something related to farming or food yeah. because I thought given the agricultural history of Hadley, yeah. that might be something interesting for mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. So this is how I sort oh, of landed yeah. here. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, I think it was an excellent choice. Yeah, I, I, uh, oh, yeah. go ahead. We can discuss, but I can add discussion later. Unless you, no, I, I just and, and the other group are the podcasts, um, and there were wonderful options on the Hadley Learns website, and and you may have watched some of these. I had not. Um, I watched one of them, um, the U.S. Citizen podcast, um, today. But you know, I think that's another option, something shorter, that could could be um, discussed maybe. But. Um, mm -hmm. If we, I also um, talked to Hadley, to Haley rather, and Haley said, I, I noticed on the senior uh, newsletter, the senior center newsletter, that they have an October date for a, a matinee, a movie matinee, and she does not think they've chosen one. Mm -hmm. And she suggested that I send the link to Gather and maybe the senior center would sponsor this. Oh, that would be a daytime yeah. event. Oh, I see that. Yeah. So she she mm -hmm. said that she would talk to Violet tomorrow. So if that's something that we're mm -hmm. interested in doing, I will do that tomorrow. And mm -hmm. she and Violet will talk about it. And and, um, and that's limited to 20 people. She said they do limit it. Yeah, mm -hmm. we could even show it twice, though. We could yeah, show right. it here. We could show it in the evening oh, at, yeah. the the library, the library. Yeah, like at the library, like we did. So if, yeah. the, if that's mm -hmm. something we want to mm -hmm. pursue, I'm happy to do the next steps. Yeah. Too. yeah. yeah. I thought it was great. a little long. Yeah. I was just going to say, yeah. There's a, yeah, there's some, it was a little long. And I wouldn't know how to crop that no, no. because I appreciate hearing, you know, our culture is based on the buffalo, and then you hear ours is based on the salmon, and you, and then the, the cooking school, you know, uh, uh, yeah. you know. But yeah. I, I know what you mean. Yeah, maybe yeah. like fifteen minutes to somewhere in there. Yeah, right in the middle, I got a phone call, and I realized like that was a good time. I got the call. <laughs> yeah, no, but I, I think the information is good. And, yeah. Um, it, I being one whose business and passion is nutrition, I I I want to watch that because yeah. it, it you know it's it's connecting. It's not just agriculture, but health and diabetes and alcoholism. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and and that would be true for all of us who right. don't eat natural yeah. from the land yeah. foods. Right. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah. I, you know, I, I just thought it was rich with, with that perspective, yeah. too. You know, yeah. People can make that link, like, yeah. oh, this harms all of us, not just Indigenous right. people. Right, and the reason it harms Indigenous people especially is because they're sort of sequestered on this reservation and their food choices are really limited. Exactly. You know, they're not like us where we can go a couple miles up yeah. the road and select from a handful of different grocery stores, you know, six yeah. or eight different grocery stores. Exactly. And not to mention all the farm stands in between yeah. here and there. Yeah. And they don't yeah. have that option. Yeah. That doesn't exist. Right. And, it, which is and it's hard to think about. Yeah. It was, it was a good it was a good piece of work. Yeah. Educational. Yeah. And I found very inspiring how all of the um, those in the interview had just taken on this is a cause I feel passionate about it's important and it wasn't about it, it's hard or it, you know what's yeah. 
I'll speak for that, you know, mm -hmm. about the, the concept of saving our culture in the next generation, which is very much a very good value. Mm -hmm. And it's anyway. inspirational, I think. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I heard that the gather was a bit long, you think, possibly for that, that event? Or do we want to think about something shorter or maybe two spaces? Like you have an option to watch the longer or something shorter. I mean, I see there's other, there's podcasts there that are 20 to 30 minutes or. Um, I don't know. Well, I, I was going to say, I don't know that we need to make that decision, but it is next month. Right. So we probably we do, do need to make that decision. Before our next meeting, to, yeah. Tonight. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing I would think about, you know, picturing what we did last year where the high school students put up their displays and then the two young women spoke in front of the room and had a slideshow, so there was yeah. an audio and visual mm -hmm. things, sitting there listening to a podcast where there's no visual component <clears throat> could be... Mm -hmm. Right. Less engaging. I don't right. know. Right. Um, I am already, already on the host of speaker part because that interests me the most. Okay. Okay. Yeah. In terms of an event, okay. if there's a gathering. Right. right. So if the senior center will show gather, okay. maybe we have a speaker at the library. Okay. At a, you know, not at the same time, so they're head to head, obviously. Yeah. But, yes. Yeah. Okay. I did talk to Jason Burns, who is the head teacher and social studies teacher. Mm -hmm. He, is, he has modified his assignment for this year. So last year, the assignment was every student um, prepared a, a poster, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and he isn't doing that. They're going to prepare brochures. He, he, he doesn't have the bandwidth to, to do the whole thing. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but he, he um, gave me the link to the speakers. Um, which is the next um, the next um, host of speaker, mm -hmm. and I I did I did review all of them and um, some of them were farther away. There there will there would be a cost though for those speakers, right. and sure it's individual to the speaker. So yeah. um, we would need to decide if we wanted to pursue any of them and inquire about the cost. And if any of these are. Uh, indigenous descent. Yes, that should be kind of. Nice. Yes, there, there are, um, there are several who are. It's quite a list. Thank you. Yeah, yeah Jason was really, you know, great to work with. Very <clears throat> responsive and helpful. Yeah. And he said that that. Um, on occasion, the students at Hopkins uh, can be released to attend a program. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if we offered a program, you know, the students may be able to come mm -hmm. even during the day. During the day, that would. Mm -hmm. so this is interesting about Christine I'm reading here. Her work is basically 400 years of um, history. The law, it's very long work. I have not read it. Mm. I did share the comments that, that were on the website. What interests me is that, as I live and work in the native Northeast New England, that's our area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, yes. At the end of Gather, it does mention. Massachusetts, it's hard to So this interests me. Yeah. And you, what was did you hear? Larry Spotted Crow Man? Is he on the list? He here? wasn't on the list. I found him elsewhere. Okay. But he does drumming and dance. Yes, right. So that's more of a native perspective. And he had poetry in mm -hmm. 2010. Mm -hmm. Rules, colleges, and powers, sharing music, culture, and history. That could be interesting. A 
I believe both of these individuals live in Massachusetts. Mm. Uh, and then, of course, you know, as we said, you know, another speaker would need to see if Marla would come back and, and speak mm. oh, again. You know. Last year, we did our program in November. Right, because that was when the class was right. ready to present their stuff. Right, so we don't right. have to, we, we could offer the, the movie if, if they want, they have a date already, it's, it's October 24th, we could offer the movie in October and then try to offer a speaker in November. Right. Oh, right, right. Which give us a little bit more time. Kitchen between indigenous people saying things. Exactly. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and, <thinking. laughs> and Larry Spotted Crow Man has a book, The Morning Road to Thanksgiving, mm. that um, has good reviews and, mm. and and actually addresses, as I understand, I haven't read it, but the um, sort of the tra Thanksgiving trauma mm. to Native people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's another option to read one of these potential speakers book this year mm -hmm. with the thought that maybe next year we would invite them to speak and maybe right. we could get some resources between now and then. Right. Because we don't have a budget. Right. Yeah. We may have to have a bake sale or something. Mm -hmm. I like the idea of having multiple different kinds of things spread through that period between Indigenous Peoples Day and Thanksgiving because mm -hmm. if it's all focused on one day and you can't make it, you miss it all. You can't make it, you're, yeah, yeah. you're out of luck. But if there's one thing here and another thing there, and, you know, like mm -hmm. something each week or every two weeks or some, you know, whatever mm -hmm. we wind up coming up with spread across that time that would be great maybe on alternate days of the week like if mm -hmm. someone right. always can't make mondays mm -hmm. and don't right don't, mm -hmm. don't make them all on mm -hmm. mondays yeah. right exactly it can be different times of day and different times of the week yeah yeah i like all these ideas i'm yeah. <laughs> i'm reading here about memory lands wow. Hmm. I'm just curious what these people would charge to do it. What are we talking about? An hour long yeah. presentation with question and answer? I don't know. That's how I think that's how long what we went to. I think that's right. And and I didn't think it exceeded people's attention hmm. yeah. Or if you say an hour and it's forty five minutes presentation yeah. and fifteen minutes yeah. question and answer or yeah. something like that. And she knew that was her assignment because she was saying that, you know. Hmm. Yeah, I would be happy to look to to reach out to both these potential speakers and just inquire about cost. Right. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Again, I would love to have somebody that's local. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anything that kind of grounds it in the here and now. Mm -hmm. This this right here. We could also just go. I would be happy to find a way to also reach out to Marla Miller, who is local, yep, exactly, and yes. um, see if she yeah. would come back. Right. Oh, good idea. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're going to be yeah. around as a group for a while, so mm -hmm. we we can yeah. we'll have. I like hearing her talk, and I like the idea of someone with native heritage. Yep. Yeah. But they're not exclusive. They're not right. exclusive. Well, and also we have ban we have bandwidth issues too ourselves yeah. personally. True. So it takes yeah. a lot to pull off True. a single program. Mm -hmm. Yeah. True. Right. right. So I think scheduling the movie would be not, especially if the senior center would be willing to work. With yeah. me, I would be willing to work with them. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, I vote. <laughs> so, so that I could easily do if we want to do a speaker, 
you know, I would like other people to be involved in that. I'm willing to be involved too. Mm -hmm. um, last time when we did the um, Juneteenth event, we also baked things. We did that also for the yeah. Indigenous people mm -hmm. night. We brought refreshments, right? Mm -hmm. for, for, there were 50 people at that event, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, I, well, I was so, I had to stop. I could have worked on this for even longer. Mm -hmm. There were other lists of people and, um it's all very interesting I, to me i think i see emerging an annual event yeah mm. yeah with do yeah i mean you've got <laughs> there's enough here to keep us going for several years yeah and how they yeah. learns is is so fantastic i mean i you know that would be somebody to even co-sponsor for right? sure yes and i don't yeah. know if how they learns is offering anything related to indigenous people in november I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it seems like housing is kind of the next okay. bee in the bonnet. Okay. Yeah. But we'll see. Yeah, I think that's going to be the next topic. Okay. Something about housing. So we had what? October twenty fourth. Yes, October twenty fourth. I think it's um, midday. And that's here. That would be in the senior center. Okay. If they don't have a film already selected, okay. and um, if they were interested in this film, they would probably watch it. I imagine. So it would be, oh, I'm sorry, it's October 14th. 14th. October 14th. Okay. Limited to 20 Friday. people. It's a Friday and it would be at 1230. So I'll pursue that. Is that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Please. Yeah. And then I will uh, pursue. And if that's oversubscribed, then it would be easy enough to offer it again at the library. Library. Okay. That mm -hmm. sounds good. At a different time, maybe in yeah. the evening. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Okay. And so, are we suggesting we gather to that? Okay. Yeah. We said twelve thirty. Yes. Do you want me to pursue a speaker too? Um, maybe on short notice, because we're only a month out, should we try, and we don't know what the cost, I mean, you could certainly find out what the cost of those are. What's it called? Sure. Um, and if it is, it does sound insurmountable, then maybe you could approach um, the, what was her name again? Why am I? Marla Miller. I don't know if she charged or if she donated her time. I think I I don't actually. Yeah. Know. Who is and who organized that? Scope it out. Find out. <clears throat> was that the library or was that here? It was here. Oh, it's here. And I think I think um, Jane arranged it. Oh, okay, so Jane might know. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we should at least get a sense of what. <clears throat> what kind of money we would be talking about okay. asking for, mm -hmm. even if we did your idea of reading a book mm -hmm. this year and having a speaker next year. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Maybe we could do some fundraising between now and then mm -hmm. or something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, I, I mean, I just don't know if people accept speaking uh, invitations on with you know, only weeks. Right. I, I don't know. Since you know, so I don't do it, I don't know yeah. if they can just know. whip yeah. one off sure. or they prepare. Um, okay. And what, when were we thinking for the speaker? That would be in November. Yeah. Does that does that sound right to people? Do you speak in November? If we can, if, if it, it off. Yeah. yeah. And if it looks like whoa, okay. Let's do the book this year and the speaker next year. You'll find out. I mean, it'll, I think it'll probably be obvious to you. You know, okay. it's like I don't know. I'm just pulling numbers out of the air. The fifty dollars stipend mm -hmm. is like, yeah, let's go for it. If it's a five hundred dollars stipend, it's like, we'll read the book this year and we'll yeah. see if we can come up with the money for next year. And I don't know if it's a, a good date or not. I'm just going to throw right. out there that uh, Friday, November eleventh, is um, Veterans Day. Mm -hmm. So. I know myself and other 
state employees would have that day off so we'd be available to right. see something during the day instead of at night mm -hmm. so that's a possibility okay i mean i don't know if people take it as a four-day or three-day weekend and, and leave town or you know but that's one possibility and that would be you know between indigenous people's day and thanksgiving right that would be okay but there we are doing two Fridays. If we weren't going to try and do this. Yeah, they're both during the daytime. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. That's great. Thank you. Oh, yeah. And Brady's sweet grass is fantastic. I was thinking about braiding sweetgrass when the, the part of the gather that was about the, the girl growing up on the buffalo farm and doing yeah. the science is like yeah. it's just like Robin Walter yeah. doing the science to prove mm. why the native practice is. She's doing a, oh yeah, you saw it. She's doing a presentation on how uh, the, the health differences raising uh buff eating eating buffalo that's raised you know eating the grass yeah versus beef eating the, the grain yeah, and the she, corn and all the soy a, and all the stuff a yeah. science fair project this was featured in the in the film that she was comparing the she was comparing grass-fed and corn-fed buffalo meat and beef so four different possibilities mm. and she extracted lipids or something yeah. i think it was I and guess. compared yeah. you know yeah. the, the, she was doing the chemistry on this meat yeah and finding that um we should all be vegetarian it really does make a difference no we should be eating that we should buffalo. be eating grass-fed buffalo oh, yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah and the impact that what Again, she's doing the science about this, these particular foods and mm. how they impact on diabetes, which is a huge problem mm. for everybody, but especially in Native mm. communities. Mm. And that, gee, if you force people out of their traditional ways that they've been doing for thousands yeah. of years successfully and mm. mess them all up, then I don't even think people who are, you know, native to these lands have alcohol. No, they didn't. Mm. Fermented Central fermented, South America, they did. But fermented they over had. in Europe, they, there's, there's a great history of fermented. I think they had yeah. fermentation in South America, yeah. Central or South America. I know I've read yeah. stuff about that, but I don't think they had up there. Yeah. What's interesting they point out is how many foods that are native mm. to, you know, not just North America, Central South. Yeah. are now like 70 percent we've got tomatoes mm -hmm. all kinds of peppers squashes mm -hmm. beans corn yeah uh chocolate would be more, more yeah. southern yeah um there's others i uh who are potato potatoes mm -hmm. you know i mean yeah. and think about just think about people yeah, of my background huge they're in the typical the, the you know the British Isles where it just rains all the time and you eat oatmeal. <laughs> you know, these are this has got to be something to spice up your life. Or, yeah. um, you know, and so having a gathering if there's food and have it yeah. have Feature cranberries. Things. I forgot yeah. cranberries. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, native. I don't think apples are from here. No, I don't think there's originally some, from Persia. You know, it could be really interesting yeah, to have something. something yeah where you know yeah. you're, you're you bring something but it has to be made of you know corn and you know right and we're not talking dairy products here either right it's true you know it, it's yeah anyway yeah you mean they didn't drink lactate free buffalo milk back in <laughs> yeah, they weren't milking things and of course salmon yeah, well, yeah, we didn't get into the, the native yeah. animals. Yes. Mm. Yeah. yeah, but those are the vegetables. That they, some of many. 
All right, so if I summarize our new business, which was the Indigenous People's Day, uh, I think Pat's going to reach out to um, the Seat Senior Center about mm -hmm. if they've already booked a movie or if they would mm -hmm. want to do Gather. And then you were also going to uh, contact a couple of the speakers. Do we mm -hmm. say which ones? Uh, was it the... Um, the two I listed? Yeah. The Williams Professor. Yeah. And then the, the woman and the man that's... Yeah. Uh, that was from the yeah. Nipmuc. Yeah. Yeah. And then Marla. And Marla. I'll do those two. Yeah. Okay. okay. And if they were, we're doing short and long-term planning. So yeah. How does that sound? Yeah. Sure. And if you email this to us, I, I will. Can, I can click on the link. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I will. Okay. <laughs> I know you will. And you'll you'll go down that same very interesting rabbit hole that I went <laughs> into, and that will lead you to more I links. I think and, that could be fun. <laughs> it, it was fun. There's a lot of really rich, mm. interesting okay. information. You know, it's, it's it's a fascinating journey to find out the history that you didn't learn. Yeah, it is. You know, I agree. And it just makes you feel like you're in school again, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. which is okay. With no assignments and tests and grades, <laughs> just, for, just with, fun, with a, that just sincere personal interest in yes. learning. Yes. And yeah. for Juneteenth, there there was an article in Essence magazine, I think, um, and it was titled "What." Black people want white people to do on Juneteenth, yeah. and okay. one of them, one of the um, recommendations was learn, mm. learn more, mm. learn things you don't know. Yeah, and that's uh, good, right? And so I, I really took that to heart for this this holiday too. You know, I think learning yeah. more is a way mm -hmm. to honor mm -hmm. those being honored on mm -hmm. these new holidays. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there's so much to learn. There is. Mm -hmm. People are still so digging and learning. Yeah. 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 Anything this else, Mark? This is good. On the summarizing to do? Um, I don't think so. I think, you know, I think there are other things we'd like to do, but I think we also recognize that we all have limited bandwidth. Yeah. So trying not to disappoint ourselves by trying to bite off more than we can chew. We don't want to burn anyone else out. Right. Um, so. I guess if we are going to think about a speaker, if we're not meeting again until October, do, do we need to kind of at least hone in on dates? Or yeah. Some, well, of that, you know, some of that will depend on when they're available. That's true. Right. If, I guess if you're going into November, I guess that's yeah, I guess you, you would maybe ask that too. Yeah. Maybe yeah. it would be again in October this year. Yeah, our meeting is the 17th. I think after Thanksgiving, it's just way too busy. Right. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. oh yeah. yeah. People are just, even oh, yeah. the yeah. week of Thanksgiving. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Should be yeah. You get in between before Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving to, yeah. You know, the new year, you're, you're, you just you don't get <laughs> at least historically. People may need a distraction. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Our next meeting is on October 17th. I think that's what I wrote. Is that the third Thursday? I show no, that's a Monday. I show the 20th. Oh, we have it on the end of the month. I have it on the 20th. The 20th. Or 20th. It's the 20th. I'm going to be out of town. 20th, yes. I know, yeah. that, Sorry, I'll be out. I know that I'll be out of town. You'll be out of town. Well, actually, we'll have to find out. Yeah, do that. You can zoom if, in. Well, I'm in Michigan, and this is the same night as my husband. These, this other meeting got also switched to the third Thursdays of the month, which I would have, and I said, now I got to pick one. So my husband might have to be in the same room with him on his and mine. <laughs> yeah, well, at Michigan, it would be, would that be an hour? No. That's the same time? Yes. Okay. It's just the sun goes down later, a lot. Later. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right, well, our... Our next, before we jump to the next meeting date, we had open agenda. Did anyone have anything else 
other than our adding to our discussions of indigenous people today. Oh, um, we had hoped that someone new would come tonight. She didn't make it. No, um, you you invited her and I invited her. We okay. had a we had outreach through the website and, and Kayla noted that an individual who's new to Hadley mm -hmm. had inquired about our committee yeah. and um, Mark and I each reached out to her by email and mm -hmm. told, uh, told her what days we need and where we need and I, I also offered to um, meet her for coffee and share what, what we have going on. So oh, nice. I'll circle back okay. again. Mm -hmm. And she can watch after Alex uh, posts this mm -hmm. on on the on the town website mm -hmm. um, she can see how scary we are <laughs> <laughs> super high power <laughs> <laughs> so with uh, not hearing any other additions for open agenda that's the last call anyone wants to step in uh, then the next meeting is on the 20th, 1020 at 7 p.m. Eastern, at Eastern Daylight Savings Time. Standard is after November. Yeah, it's usually after Halloween goes by. Yeah. Somewhere in that time. Maybe right there. Okay. I used and, to know when they changed it. Now. Yeah, they changed it now. Yeah, it should be like the, not yet. Yeah. yeah. So the next item is adjournment. If we have nothing else to add, so I would entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. And a second. Okay. <laughs> All in favor? And okay. It's unanimous. Thank you. We have.